Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Borderlands. Secret Army of General Knox DLC. And we're going to bring it on home in this run. This will probably span a couple videos. And speak now or forever hold your peace. Empty out your inventory as much as possible if you're going to follow this run. Because at the end, you're going to have the opportunity to loot. I'm still not sure how many chests there are, but a tons of weapon chests. Now, um, they don't even come close to what the stuff you can get out of the Hyperion gift shop. So don't get too excited. But yeah, there's a lot of loot there. And you're on a, under a timer too, so. Um, let me just make some space. I've been, I've looted this, you know, like the, the armory, I don't know how many times, maybe a half a dozen times now. Like I said, I, I have yet to be really impressed with what I got out of there. So I'll make some space, but I'm not gonna go crazy. Um, let's just get rid of that. That we're definitely keeping. I do, yeah, let's get rid of that too. Uh, contact, I don't really like. This we're keeping, this might be useful. This, uh, I don't know, let's just, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna use it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Boom, boom, done. That should be enough, 31 spaces, that should be enough. What else do I want? I want the Pestilent Defiler in slot number four, and how about, uh, where's that static weapon, that static repeater? Yeah, let's put you there. No, wait, no, no, wait, better idea. Firehawk, you go there. Blast Protector, you go there. And my heavy, my heavy lifter goes there. That's it, let's get underway. The story mission up to bat is this one right here. But we're also gonna do this one here, OMG APC just to spawn a new, a new vehicle in the catch a ride station, the Lancer. A supposedly heavily armored um, car. You should start your investigation at the Lance Bunker to the north. If you infiltrate the base, you may be able to locate some record of the access code. Alright, let's spawn a vehicle. And punch it, Chewy. Boom. <laughs> okay, we're going for the OMG APC first. Once again, only engage enemy vehicles if you absolutely have to. For the most part, you could just drive right on by them. Unit turn. Uh oh. Heavy traffic up ahead. Sorry, <laughs> love to stay in chat, but hey, we're about business. Yeah, save your turbo power for uh, these moments where you have to punch your way through. Okay, same deal here. Get right up in their face, and you get in a, in a defilade. Won't be able to shoot you right up close like this. That's your best turret buster. Warning, the contents of this drone can poison small pets, livestock, and people named Jason. I always do this so that they don't chew my racer to bits as I'm driving through. And... 
There is our objective. That's the part we need, so now we can build Lancers. Next. We will have to go back to Scooter, though, to turn in the mission in order to do that. Before you do that, though, complete this objective, which is down here. What was that? Oh, oh, you were recording that? Dude, dude, that is so mean. You are so mean, Derek. I am not sharing my ice cream with you. It's Rocky Road, too. Oh, I heard. I just need the access code for today. No, 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 Derek. It was your day to have the access code. I'm on personal ice cream leave of absence. Code 3.5.31 in the manual clearly states. Then where is the code? Oh, y you had it. I saw you. Oh, no, that is bad. Oh, I screwed up big time. Did you do, Derek? I might have played hooky to go check out the world's largest bullet. I think I left it there. You left the access code. Something that jeopardizes all of our lives, that's all of them, at the world's largest bullet? Yes, correct. Eh, I got ice cream. <laughs> All right, so you heard the whole story. One of these numb nuts let the access code while sightseeing at the world's largest bullet. And we've got to get there, which is at the end of the line. Okay, down to the bottom level and around here, fight our way through a small area of bandits and pick up the access code. That's the plan, let's do it. Dude! Whoa! Oh, far out! you tried in court yet what's stopping you side effects are a few seeping boils going to stop you from satisfying the woman you can never obtain it's time to try in court and you'll be seeping in 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 progress report i've acquired the necessary pieces and the mission is on schedule the detonator should be prepared by the time you have acquired the code a phoenix out okay you'd be best to hang around the uh the entrance here, create a nice choke point until you bring everything down to a dull war. Even go in a bit and sucker him into coming out. Okay, let's see what's going around the corner here. Oh, hold it. Yep. <laughs> There's no escape, just love that reload on this. This is just absolutely fantastic. All right, so everything's down to a dull roar. Get the access code. And 
Gorge. The only product ever to be personally endorsed by notorious ladies man, Mr. Shank. Yeah, so this shit is tits, guys. You should see what my bitch thinks of me now. Her name is Chad Mina, and uh, she... <laughs> My mission is accomplished. When you have the code, rendezvous at our previous location. Athena, out. Which basically means go back to T-Bone Junction. So let's do that. By simply exiting the game and starting up again. Unless you want to drive back. Take my word for it. You don't want to drive back. Good. You're here. Oh yeah, let's turn in. Time to take the fight. Okay, let's do this first. I'll monitor your progress and provide support from here. Good luck. In the rear of the gear, eh? Okay, so take the detonator, turn this in. And a couple new missions. That's the main one, bridging the gap. Available on the T Bone Junction Bounty Board. And this will spawn a new type of vehicle in the Catch Ride Station, the Lancer. Which is. It has about 50% more health than the monster, and about twice as much health as the Racer. Okay, so that will get Claptrap to shut up, and now. Let's bring this baby on home. Bridging the gap. Activate the energy energy bridge to reach the armory. Can do. And just for posterity, let's spawn a lancer. Even though I'm not a big fan of them, they handle terribly. I'd much rather use a racer, buddy. Okay, lancer. They do pack a punch, though. They corner terribly, though. I've noticed. If you're going slow. They have this nice energy weapon though. So at this point you can start taking on other Lancers if you so desire. See though, its top speed doesn't hold a candle to that of the racer. Oh, up and up. <laughs> it barely makes the jump. I think the racer can make that jump without even using turbo power. Okay, so. There you go, so here's an example. You now can do battle with the others. Easy, stand a chance. Oh, wait. Only you can prevent drone fires. Please be sure to only charge drones in a. I have a funny feeling this is not going to turn out well. We're out of here. One thing I've noticed... When you try to spawn a new one... Let's say you just want to like, you know... Do an emergency sanitation. <laughs> I'll have point break. When you try to spawn a new one... Lancer. Spawn vehicle. And your new one has the same health as the one, your old one. So, like, you have to destroy your old one before you 
could get a new one with full health. In case you're wondering about that. This is really weird. There you go, so now I got one with full health. Attention, hostile! If you would allow me to murder you easily, that would be I love that. and would make the cleanup simpler. <laughs> okay, this is gonna end badly, like I said, so let's get out of here. There are limits to what the Lancer can handle. Hi guys, just passing through. Let's check our objective, yeah, it's way at the end of the line. So there you go, there's the Lance. Her? Lancer? Like I said, I much prefer the Razor. I have yet to go over the side on one of these freeways, <laughs> which I was doing all the time in practice runs, one of my favorite tricks. Okay, um, that's our destination, we have to activate the bridge. Basically, we're going to take this cut off here, go down here, through here, and into this tiny narrow right here. And that'll take us to the switch that will activate the bridge, which will open this bridge up right here. So we can go across to this location here. All right, so that's the plan. Basically, you want to go to here, and then we'll have to hike in to there like that. They're doing some kind of maintenance on the building across the street. I don't know what's going on. But my microphone may be picking up sounds of drilling and whatnot. The windows are wide open here in Montreal, Quebec. It's a nice summer day. We just went through this four day heat wave. I do have AC and I, I had the AC on for four days straight. So it's a real pleasure to have the AC off today and just enjoy a nice cool breeze. But like I said, they got the windows all wide open. So, um, here's the switch. That's it. Watch that. See, the bridge is going to go across there. So now we can access that. And we got some Rocketeers. And Rocketeers get the Firehawk. Badass. My ass. <laughs> as close as we can and here we go ah 
Haha. <laughs> What did I forget to do? Oh, my bad. Okay, turning the mission. Okay. Hey, so I, uh, I guess it was wrong. Thought uh, you were gonna be cool and help me get out of here, but uh, you, you would not believe the shit I have to put up with. Okay, the admiral just made me French toast out of a sock and some freaking gum. Mate, all bets are off. I'm gonna have to kill you now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, sorry, my bad. This part of this, not part, I would say most of this DLC is, is quite counterintuitive, the way it's set up. Like the way you turn in missions and the way it's all laid out. And... Okay, so we have to hike back around. to fight our way in. <laughs> More than your shield is that okay. I should have known when I didn't see the objective marker. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.